Mary Lucinda Shattuck's Thanksgiving Pudding by Beatrice Boynton Parker, 1976, The Pepperell Reader, page 110. Thanksgiving at my grandmother's house was a very special day for me when I was a child of six or seven. Friends and relatives would come from a distance and would be met at the train in East Pepperell. They would usually stay for two or three days. There would be over 20 to sit down at the long table in the dining room. At this time, my grandmother was in her 80s, but she still ran her own kitchen and did most of the cooking, especially the baking. I remember watching her make the pudding, pounding the crackers fine with a wooden potato masher. The crackers she used have not been around for many years. They were like our common crackers, but were very large. I have made this pudding many times using my imagination when I couldn't get the same things that my grandmother used. Three cups of fine cracker crumbs, common crackers unsalted, one teaspoon of nutmeg, one teaspoon of cinnamon, and one teaspoon of salt, one eighth of a pound of butter melted, one and one eighth cup of sugar, scald one quart of milk, and pour on the above ingredients. Cover tightly and soak until cool. When cool, add four beaten eggs, one cup of seedless raisins, one cup of cut up dates, and one pack of candy peels and citron. Add one jar of jelly, any jelly will do. Now grandmother was thrifty and she used whatever was the oldest leftover jelly in the cupboard. Bake it for four hours. Cover to keep from being crusty on top. Stir about every half an hour. I start the oven at 350 degrees, and then when it starts bubbling, I turn it down to 325 degrees. Don't be discouraged at the light, sloppy-looking mess that you put in the oven. It turns out dark, brown, and quite stiff. The pudding can be served warm with whipped cream or vanilla ice cream, but the best is a hard sauce made with creamed butter and confectioner sugar, moistened with a little brandy or rum. As long as you stick to the basic recipe, you can use your imagination as to what dried fruits and what candied peels that you put in. Happy Thanksgiving!